Hello, good afternoon. My name is David Brown, and I'm with Berkeley Nucleonics. I uh, am here today to talk to you about a new product, the RD120. This is a new radiation detector that is used for clandestine monitoring in a variety of large public events, venues, where you would need to monitor uh, large areas with isotope identification and maybe in an environment that you don't want to make it so obvious that you're in a monitoring mode. So our entire system is very lightweight. It uh, comes in a small backpack like this, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, to turn the unit on, we do have a power controller. It's, the battery life on this unit is 24 hours. Here's the charge, and here's the power. That's the only time you need to access the unit. It's in a NEMA enclosure, which is waterproof. You could be out in the rain. You could be in uh, wet environments. Uh, uh, you could certainly be operating in a very hot climate or very cold climate. We have a temperature stabilization module built into the system to accommodate the changes in temperature. I'm going to go ahead and turn my unit on here. You see the red uh, lit LED there indicating the power's on. And I'll go ahead and zip back up my, my instrument. Interface the instrument is on a smartphone or PDA. We have an app that's available that we deliver with the, with the instrument. Or if you prefer, we'll provide a, a small device as well. Uh, today we're using a basic uh, Samsung uh, Android uh, PDA. Now while that's booting up, I will uh, put my backpack on to demonstrate the typical mode of operation. Very light backpack, works quite well. And uh, what's nice about this, of course, is you're not drawing a lot of attention to yourself. So uh, we certainly have a variety of pagers, RIDs, other products, portal type systems. This is by far our most clandestine uh, radiation detector that does isotope identification. Now, I'm gonna come in a little, well, why don't you come a little closer on my screen here, if possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and swipe the screen to unlock. And I will go to my app, which is called Snap. That's the Berkeley Nucleonics app. And I will tell it to pair with my device. So here we're scanning for devices. And it looks like we found our device. And it's paired. The first time you pair, it will go through an auto calibration process. That is because perhaps the temperature climate is different or we're in a new background and the unit wants to self calibrate. Okay, great. So the auto calibration process finishes and now we are monitoring. Uh, right now we can see by the blinking backpack icon that we are actually connected in Bluetooth. The battery indicator here is indicating the power level of the battery in the backpack. And a little status line here. It's paired to the backpack. The alarm mode is invariable and we're on ID. If I want to enter setup mode, it automatically once the calibration is done, begins to look for radiation and, and looks for an identification. Now we're far too low in the background to start an ID process, but it's collecting data and collecting a background. In my setup mode, I have some options here. Set up to set the parameters of the instrument. Uh, for example, the username, the location where we're scanning, and then we set some trigger methods and thresholds. Uh, one point to notice is we can trigger the alarm off a of Sigma. It's very important for an application where we're walking around and the background may be changing a little bit to continue to reset the background and not alarm just because the actual background has gotten higher or lower. Uh, we set our alarm ringtones similar to a cell phone and this is the alarm on radiation. So if you want to have your device go off as if you're getting a phone call, for example, you just pick a phone ringtone. Uh, the measurement time and the measurement counts, uh, the dose rate uh, units, uh, Seifert's, REM, those kind of decisions. They're all made in the setup menu. Let me exit out of this menu. 
and exit out of the setup mode and we'll go back to the ID, the ID and dose rate counting mode. So, uh, if we want to take a quick glance at the background, we rotate the screen sideways and here we are collecting background. It's a very nice quick presentation, make sure the detector is working well and that the background looks good. That's a, a typical uh, background continuum that we have here at Berkeley Nucleonics in our uh, offices. You see also the K40 peak starting to uh, develop there. That is a part of our stabilization routine. And so we expect to see that. If I want to reset my count, just start over, no problem. Okay, so let's look now. I'll put this in my I'll put this in my pocket as if I'm just doing a remote monitor application, and let's just uh, take a little walk. Uh, let's investigate, monitor the warehouse. So here we are doing an inspection. Maybe I'm a health department uh, manager and I'm inspecting a medical facility or uh, some other a radio pharmaceutical laboratory. And as we're walking around and inspecting sure we get an alarm. Okay. Now we see here the count rate has gone much higher up to 80, 90 microrem per hour and count rates in the three to four thousand range. So I want to for example say that this alarm is too intimidating. Um, what I would do then I would go back to my setup mode. I would go to the setup for the alarm and maybe we will pick a different ringtone, uh, something more like a telephone. And now we will return and go back to our monitor mode, turn the volume back up, and now we have more of a typical ringtone. So that would be a lot less uh, intimidating if you're walking around and, and you just had a typical ringtone. Again, we look at our sort, look at our count rates, and turn sideways to get a spectra. Okay, now one very exciting and interesting part about the spectra is our ability to place a cursor on the spectra and rotate it along the, along the x-axis. Silence this. I'm going to silence the alarm. And now, I don't know if you can get in and see that little red line there. Yeah, so I'll put the red line right on the peak. And of course, you know, 662 is telling me what the isotope is. We also, I'm also gonna show you how to do the identification on the unit. But what's very nice here also is I can play with the spectra a little bit. I can zoom in at different uh, areas and then slide over and now move my red cursor and get very, very accurate uh, total counts and energy range. Uh, very easy to move the, move the line over on my smartphone. Okay. Now, if let's say, for example, I want to uh, save that data and send it to my manager, that would be typical operation. We will go back to the event log, which is here, set up and events, open my event log, and here are the saved alarms with all the ANSI N42 compliant data. What's really exciting now is I will take a particular identification and before I send that off, I will attach a comment and a photograph. My comment field would just be a text field and done, save. And the other item would be a photograph. Here I would take a photo, and I would take a photo, say, of the package which was causing the alarm. Okay, ask me if I'd like to save that photo with the alarm. So I will hit save. Now you see we have our identification, cesium-137. We have info about the collection. If I toggle over to comments, Here's my comments and my photograph, the entire spectra. Now I have an entire file that can be saved on the device or sent uh, over a cellular connection 
to a management team. So the management team will get my comments, the photograph, the spectra, and some info about the you know, date, time, the alarm, how long the collection was taken, who the agent was and the location, the uh, dose rates, and the identification. We think this uh, mode of operation will be useful for some applications. Uh, certainly times when you want to uh, mask the fact that you're doing a nice uh, radiation monitoring exercise. Uh, large public gatherings where radiation monitoring might create some, some nervousness or some panic. Um, hospital areas where patients don't want to be bothered. You can quickly get an identification that, this way. Um, you know, or other, other times when maybe uh, speed is of the essence and pulling out equipment will uh, delay the process. Um, now we we'll go ahead, we're doing other work, we're busy doing whatever we're doing. Maybe we set the backpack down, maybe we hang it on a wall, hang it on a doorway. Who knows, walk away. And typically the power of Bluetooth gets you, lets, allows you to be away from your radiation detector. Again, I'm getting a new alarm now from the backpack. I will come, you know, we're 10, 15 feet away from the source. And here we have again, a count rate. And if I want to see the spectra, I flip sideways. And there we have our spectra, the identification, the K40, which is part of our stabilization. And uh, we're able again to bring our cursor in here. Expand the peaks and then just slide that right on top of the peak and get a count rate and an energy. And here we can quickly confirm these are the cobalt uh, 60 peaks. If I want to silence my alarm, just the same way you would silence a cell phone, not a problem. If I wanted to append my notes or my photos, I could do that. Or if the uh, isotope was a medical isotope and I expected to see that, I might just reset my unit put it back in my pocket and go back to doing my daily task, whatever that may be, shipping and receiving or admitting, administering uh, medication or uh, admitting new people into the hospital or perhaps discharge and that kind of Okay, so that's the RD120, small lightweight product. Comes with a PDA that gives you a nice GUI. I did in fact set it down on a cobalt source and so that's why we got the secondary alarm. Fits over uh, one shoulder or two shoulders and allows you again, hands-free radiation monitoring to go about whatever other tasks uh, you have in front of you. So that's the new product from Berkeley Nucleonics. I hope you give us a call and talk to us a little bit about your application. We have a wide range of instrumentation to help with your program. We do complete installations and training and uh, I think you'll like what, uh, what you find when you give us a call. Have a good day.